Today, on Highway Rescue Construction Equipment Bananas, <laughs> we have construction equipment as heavy rescue equipment. For some reason. And on the mighty Coca-Cola, this happened. This, this right here. It looks like a dump truck collided with a cement mixer and Jimmy Jamma and his crew have to get this wreck off the highway Actually, you're not before, 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 I before do. that concrete sets and then they'll have to <laughs> chip it off with forks and knives and chisels and it'll take at least Minutes into <laughs> hours into days into years, they, they might never get to use this road again. Serious, serious business, folks. And they don't have any, 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 you're any, any, any of the records. There's you're none saying, of the heavy records. Uh, you're saying the name wrong. <laughs> not it's not Jimmy Pajama. It's Jimmy Pajamas. Oh, Jimmy Pajama is bananas. So um, <laughs> anyway. They, they can't find any of the heavy records because they're all off. And it's a blizzard, too. I forgot. It's a blizzard. It is so shivery cold. Actually, we're filming this in the middle of summer. And we're sweating as we're doing this. Look at the things we go through for you guys. But it's so wintry cold. And it's a blizzard. And also, but that won't stop the concrete from setting. And it's invisible concrete. You can't even see it. But so, all right. It's invisible concrete. It came from the U.S. government, obviously. Yes, it came from the U.S. government, who's been developing invisible concrete, which would serve no discernible purpose. But that they're doing it anyway. That don't let that stop them. So, right now, we've got this construction equipment that is going to have. They're going to go to the construction site and steal it, actually, because they have to get these things off the road. And they're going to worry about heavy equipment theft at some later point in time. <laughs> And when they go before the judge, they're going to say, look, I mean, you didn't want invisible concrete from the U.S. government on the roads, did you? In the middle of a blizzard, you crazy man. <laughs> this Give is, me my winnings. Th th <laughs> There's one thing I have to say. This is basically Highway Through Hell, but from Wish.com. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. Meaning it's just the off-brand. King of yeah, the hill. Way off. So, so off. Why did oh. I say King of the Hill? I don't know. Hank Hill is part of this crew. I know that. It, He's it, just it, trying to sell propane to the people who survived the crash. Yeah, he went from Texas to Canada to do that. <laughs> Very long sales trip. That's over like 2,500 miles probably. He's, maybe he started to sell promote, um, circle and propane. Radio. Anyway, so... <laughs> They've got to get this construction equipment and go over here and get this stuff off the coke. In a blizzard. <laughs> One of these trucks is carrying a Coca-Cola that probably... No, no, no. The Coca-Cola. They call it the coke, don't they? Do they not call it that anymore? They probably did. Do they not? Oh, I, mean, I am so disappointed if they stopped. I'm sorry. I don't remember that many details from the show. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, anyway, so these trucks are sitting there spilling... Their fluids, their gas, and their oil, and their invisible concrete all over the freeway. Is anybody going to come and get these stupid trucks off of the, it, the freeway? Anybody at all? Oh, is it somebody who's actually stolen the construction equipment? Are they going to do that? That'd be great. That'd be so. Oh, no, it's rolling. That'd be so good if you could see your way into that. Oh, so that just drove into the cement mixer. <laughs> that's a uh, hmm. That's an interesting way. He's going to try to ram it off the rut. No, he's going to use the crane. He's going crane hook fishing, everybody. All right. He's going to rip the ladder off. <laughs> this is the yep. off for it. When we first did the, when we first did some trivia while I'm trying to hook this hook onto the thing. So he's he's trying to hook his hook on a thing. You need a swamper. Do we have any swampers around? I. Because they're the ones that hook stuff onto other stuff. 
Well, you gotta tear the mud flap off. That'll be good. <laughs> the, why is the mud flap plastic on this truck? Um, well, this is, <laughs> whoa, that truck just slid by itself. Must have got a gust of wind there. The road is very icy. Okay, so he's gonna rip the, uh, looks like the equipment box off. <laughs> That's perfect. He doesn't need that. We're reeling in our catch. Oh, he's dragging it across the road. Spilling more concrete everywhere. Oh, no, Guys, there's, not... now we have a trail of invisible concrete. Uh-oh. Oh, that's, okay, so, he ran the mass too high and now that tipped over. Uh, uh, and there's get concrete getting into that, so it's gonna ruin that mass if he doesn't get that out of there quickly. But hey, we have an excavator, so let's see what that can do. Is there any more excellent construction equipment we can use here? And this is, oh, he's just gouging the cab. <laughs> he's, he's, he's gouging the tower cab with the bucket. Awesome. Oh, now the engine compartment has come loose. This seems not great. <laughs> Guys, over here on the coke, we're having a lot of problems here. Even the construction equipment. Oh, and then part of the problem, I think, is because the hook of the crate is still hooked on to the cement mixer. And it keeps pulling it over. Oh, okay. That seems, um... <laughs> uh, wow, it can fly. <laughs> the excavator can fly. We're gonna need the excavator and probably a bulldozer to get all this concrete off the ground, though. Um, that one, so the construction equipment didn't do anything. It was just this gigantic god-like creature that descended from the mountains. <laughs> No, it was a gust of wind. It's a hill giant! <laughs> hey, hill giant, would you mind cleaning up the invisible concrete while you're at it? No. Alright, so, uh, okay, so we got those trucks fixed. The dump truck is still... What was in the, bo what was in the box of the dump truck? Coca-Cola. <laughs> Why would you put Coca-Cola in a... What? Well, it doesn't have No, to it can't be Coca-Cola. <laughs> Oh, well, what do they do? Just open all the cans and oh, pour yeah. it into the back? Some of the wires have gone haywire. Yeah, you might want to not have those two connected. Just a thought, Hell Giant. Okay, so um, what about this dump truck, though? It's, it's, leaking, it's leaking diesel and, and oil for sure. And antifreeze. But what's in the box? Was it, was it, like, it shouldn't have been empty. Maybe it was empty. Maybe it was going to get a load. Hell Giant has a All right, we're just gonna say that was uh, well, it it uh, it had a. Oh no! Nothing. The engine compartment blew open <laughs> from another gust of wind. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow! It must be a hurricane. We are. Although a hurricane would do different things than blow an engine compartment open, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to spend some time thinking about that. Hmm. Now there's snow gathering in the compartment. Hmm. You can't move any of it so maybe components. he should think about closing the compartment. No? Okay. Oh no, and somebody is throwing sticks of dynamite in the engine compartment. Ah! Where did that come from? Unfortunately, you can still move its arm. It scoops out the person and then kills them. Um, they got the invisible concrete? Yeah. So unfortunately, it's stuck in motion right now. And this trailer can't be moved because it's quick dry cement. Yes. Yes. Quick dry invisible cement, which is why. It's oh, the cement. invisible cement? Yeah. That the concrete mixer or the yeah. yeah. It's it's quick dry. The cement mixer. Okay, so the road is ruined. You can at least chip away at it. Well, you probably need a bulldozer for that. Uh, can we get one report for a bulldozer? Um, yeah, I think there might be some over at the construction site that we haven't stolen yet. Oh no. Construction. <laughs> wow, it just levitated itself. This is the new technology. It all comes from the government. Ah, uh, yeah. So now it's just pushing away all the cement. Cement was on the other side. It's just pushing snow right now. Oh no, it's tearing up whole sections of the road. <laughs> This is not. Oh boy, this is not working well. Also, all these vehicles are now on fire. 
Oh, and the track came off. And they're all on fire. And the road is ruined. And, uh, you know, I don't think we've had a tornado yet. Let's have a tornado, too. A winter tornado. Wow. The tornado looked a lot like the uh, hill giant here throwing stuff around. Ah, uh, yes. In yet another development, it seems that two trucks, two construction trucks, were... I'm not sure what the cement mixer was doing, actually, but it looks like the dump truck was hauling a bunch of logs and fencing and construction signage. Actually, no. The construction signage and the fencing was around the construction site. Oh. Okay, so... The, the fencing was around. Anyway, so they, there was unexpected heavy snowfall on the mountain, and both of these two vehicles took a tumbleina down. And, this, and they didn't have chains on their wheels. Yeah, that also. And the cement mixer was fortunately empty, but it is out of commission. Meanwhile, the dump truck had all these logs that crashed through the fence and knocked everything around. Stopping the Coca-Cola, where all those plastic bins are, is where all the traffic is stopped to the Coke. <laughs> They've got to get it all out of the way, guys. Dumped into piles. Because what? this is the, what do they call that thing? The collector? Is that what they call that thing? That bridge, that, that underpass bridge thing on the Coke? Guys, fill it in. Just watch the show. Anyway, I think they call it the collector or the mangler or something like that. Any, it's mangle. Oh, it's mangle for FNAF. No, anyway, so they're they're back there and they've got to go through this freeway which is going here. And this is this looks like a box, but it's really the collector, the mangler, whatever it is. And they're gonna go through on the other side and uh and pass these uh this is like a radio tower, so you can't see past it. But anyway, the Coca Cola goes this way. Alright, so we gotta get all this debris out of the road be so that people can get home and have their cooked ham dinners for Christmas. Da, 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 We're having ham da, for da, Christmas. Da, da. And I'm stuck in da, this car. Da, da. I really hope, you know, I really hope everybody that on the Coke gassed up before they tried to go home. I really hope they have like full fuel because, you know, otherwise you could be stuck there for a while and you could run out of fuel. I wonder if that happens in Canada a lot. Like, if you're up in Canada, hey, do you guys, do you guys like pack like I don't know, like a mini stove and some fixins that Maybe you some can routine. see. Yeah, some yeah that too. So you can sit and eat in your vehicle. You can't really have your fancy cooked ham dinner for Christmas, of course. But do, do you guys do that just so that all this debris that's on the road that 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 Jameson and his crew have to clean up? His name is James. Pan his name is James Pajamas in this universe. Yeah, James Jameson P Pajamas Bananas, <laughs> and he uh, so he's got to clean all this out of the way so the cars can go through. And then also, they're going to probably find these construction companies. Except for they were just parked. They were parked and it was really heavy snowfall. And then it got, okay, what happened was, and then it got really hot suddenly because of global warming. And then it got really super muddy. And then it got really snowy again on top of it, like right after that, like 12 minutes later. And so it just skidded these things. They just tumbled into down the hill. It wasn't anybody's fault. I mean, except for everybody who's responsible for climate change. It was their fault. But... Indirectly, they didn't push the vehicles or anything. Or maybe they did. Maybe they came with their big twirly mustaches and they pushed the vehicles down. <laughs> anyway, we got to get the coke open so all these people can get home. Yes. So I think if we stare at this long enough, it might just move itself. Oh, now we have a helicopter, a sky cream, looking at the freeway from above. Look at this. Oh, look, we're freeway lookers. Look at all these cars. They're backed up for miles and miles uh, and, uh, and miles bins. and miles and oh, it looks like somebody has a camper. Oh, and there's smoke coming out of top of it. I wonder if he's having his Christmas dinner, his his cooked ham Christmas dinner. Anyway, I sure hope he is because you know, in the pajamas. You don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss your cooked ham Christmas dinner. This is James in the pajamas. All right. So James in the pajamas is levitating in the air right now, I guess. Right. So um, 
Yep, it doesn't look like there's any trucks out here moving any of this debris around. Oh, I guess, are you going to worry about the trucks first? Yeah. Okay, because they're probably leaking stuff. Yeah, they're probably leaking, like, their precious bodily fluids of the trucks. And you don't want that because it'll contaminate the ground. And um, so the people are going to have to wait because it's a hazardous spill right now. So everybody it's that is... It's hazardous radiation devices developed by the Black Mesa Research Facility. Is not likely to be in construction vehicles, but sure, let's roll with it. So, um, yeah. Everybody on the Coke. Um, so, I mean, if you have to go to the bathroom, do you just like, when your car is stalled, do you just like get out and go on the side of the road? I mean, or do you keep spare bottles in the car for that? I mean, it wouldn't work if you're... If, if you're if you're a girl, I guess, but um, that's what I wonder when I see shows like that, when I see them, like, just stalled for hours and hours at a time. Like when, so, so I used to live in North Dakota, and, and we would always keep the gas at a relatively decent level, but we lived close enough Interesting to... Interesting development. Oh, yeah, this thing has rolled over on its box for some reason. So, but uh, we used to keep, we were, we were that super far away from like towns and stuff. So we would only have a certain amount of, of gas. Like we wouldn't let it go below a certain level. And we kept winter kits and stuff in the car, but not like food supplies. But like sometimes like on that show, they're there for, for the first time in forever. Oh. Disney let us sing. So. All right. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, so the dump truck is back in order. This thing is wrecked though, this is not drivable, so they're gonna have to get a flatbed and tow this out of the way. But for some reason, it's still hooked on to the back. So you're gonna rip the tailgate off, I guess, is what we're doing now. What are we doing? I can't find a flatbed truck. We don't have a brooder flatbed truck. Yeah, so we're gonna have to, the, it's gonna have to wait there until we can get a flatbed truck here, which will be sometime later, like maybe the next day or two. Because they do that in the video sometimes also. But this is out of the way. It's not blocking the road. And it's not leaking its precious fluids anymore. Or at least it's leaking a lot less. Good job, truck. Wait out to leak. Okay. So, what are you doing? It's trying to levitate. No, what are you doing now? Alright. They're going to put them somewhere that isn't close to the highway. Okay, that's a good spot for right there. It's fine where it is. Okay, so that one now is somehow flipped over on its roof. And this is... Both of the engines now are ruined because these things have gone on their roof. Turning up engines upside down, big time no-no. Definitely, definitely do not do that. Alright. And... Okay, there it is. <laughs> wow. Well, that somehow got done without the actual crane up. Neat, oh, gee whiz, golly, bang. Okay, uh, so we still have the roadblock with all these people that really are anxious to get home to their Christmas ham dinners. Who says this was Christmas? What if... It's a Christmas ham dinner they're waiting for. They all told me. I interviewed everybody in every one of those cars. That must have taken hours. It, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, it did. Yep. And they, and they, and they, and they, I kept saying, hey guys, can you believe it's Christmas? And they went, oh, yeah, eh? We gotta get home. We gotta make our Christmas ham dinners at the house. And I'm like, yeah, right. Can I have some? And they're like, no, no, you, you can't. I don't even know you, lady. And I'm like, wow, tough crowd. All right, so the crane is put to bed, I guess, for now. Very nice, very nice roll up here. And uh, okay, we still have debris all over the all over the freeway. Oh no. It looks like several of the cars are running out of gas. And as soon as their engines dies, they're gonna freeze to death in this blizzard. Because this freeway isn't open. I really wish I knew what you were doing. We need a bulldozer to collect. Oh, where where'd you put the bulldozer? Well, obviously. It's on the couch. On the couch. Still on the couch. We're just going to use this. So on the couch with the excavator. Okay. Oh, it looks like we found a mini bulldozer. It's a baby bulldozer. A baby dozer. 
Baby dozer sounds wrong. That sounds like you'd use a bulldozer to push babies around, and that's not, that's really not a thing. And plus that, I think that's maybe against the law. It's, if, if not, it probably should be. Okay, all right. You guys are gonna get home to your Christmas dinners any sec, well, maybe not. Oh, it's making a bigger mess at the moment. No, we're putting it into a pile. Oh, we're putting it into a pile? Yeah, why, so we why? left it easier. Oh, why don't we just shove it out of the way so that people can go home to their Christmas ham dinner? They're probably hungry by now. Jump scares the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I did not expect the jump scare in this video. Meanwhile, the freeway is still blocked. <laughs> oh, it somehow flew. What? Look, it somehow flew. Okay, it flew to the other side, which is helpful in no respects. Okay, all right, so that has run out of fuel. The mini, the mini, the baby dozer. Oh no, no, no. I can't call it a baby dozer. The mini dozer has run out of fuel. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. It's out of fuel. And now it's more blocky than ever. Oh, so much blocking in so little time. Yep. How is it blocking? I'm moving it towards the truck. Well, because you see how light of cars, they're trying to get to this mangler over here. So they can get home and eventually have their stupid Christmas ham dinners. Everybody, everybody in Canada wants, everybody, everybody in Canada wants for Christmas ham dinner. Oh, somehow, somehow the baby dozer. Oh, I keep saying that. Some of the mini dozers found fuel. And it sounds like it's farty. Hmm? It sounds like it's farty. It's the farty dozer. I guess it sounds a little bit like a diesel. Why not? Okay. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I, what? Okay, so, um, yeah, all right. That just tumbling itself out of existence. Meanwhile, we have, somebody doesn't want to put their blade down, so they just keep running over things instead of moving them. Oh yeah, put the trencher down, that'll help. <laughs> Let's dig up the road. That's the thing to do. All right, buy trencher and the blade, there you go. Oh, it's almost clear, kind of. Oh, it's still not clear. You're just moving it around. This is the, who hired this guy? Oh, he's almost. There's some sign stuff left, some fence stuff left, and it's almost clear. And a log. There's a big, a big brown log out there. Oh. oh, and there's part of a fence still back there too. <laughs> okay. All right, it's clear. Now the bulldozer's in the way. Make sure the bulldozer are off the road. Ah, uh, the people are free, free to go into the mangler and eventually get home to have their Christmas ham dinner up in Canada on the Coca-Cola. A happy ending. A happy ending for everybody except for these two trucks that went on their roof and are now completely inoperable and are waiting for a flatbed. But that'll be on a future episode of... Coca-Cola thingy the bob. Highway banana cakes that... <laughs> Stop people from having their Christmas ham dinner. Yeah. I don't even know what to say about this. Christmas. So first off, but it's evolved into complete madness. Complete absolute madness. Yeah, and I can safely say, but unfortunately. But unfortunately. But what I want to say is that these older videos you can still watch on the channel. We're not gonna say anything about this. Yeah. Which, as you know, devolved into mad, into mad, into mad. That's pretty quickly. You know, all I really have to say about that, guys, is bye bye, fry guys.